Happy opening day, everybody. Finally. Today marks the day that fans can finally return to their favorite team stadium or catch their favorite teams on TV to cheer them on as they work towards a championship. On opening day, everybody's record is the same at 0-0. Zero and zero. But that doesn't mean that every team has the exact same chance to win the World Series. In today's video, we are going to utilize stats and previous data to determine which team I believe will win the 2022 World Series. Baseball is an interesting game, specifically because the best team does not always win on any given day. To account for this, we play a lot of games, 162 to be exact, to try and determine the best we can who those top teams will be. To put that in perspective, here's a visual of how many games are played during a typical MLB season. The NFL concludes their regular season after only 17 games, which lines up about here. The NBA and NHL only play 82 games each, which ends up about here. This makes Major League Baseball's schedule nearly two times as long as the next most popular sport here in the US. So to account for the fact that the best team doesn't always win, we play a lot of games. The idea being that over the long run, the better teams should win more than the worst teams can. What makes this even more interesting is the fact that over that 162 game season, there are even more chances of star players getting injured, traded, or an unproven star making a splash in the league. These seasons feature the most variables of any professional sporting league in the US due to all of these factors and more. So how can we decide who will win? Before we can answer that question, let's take a look at who has won. Over the last six seasons, here are the two teams that competed in the World Series. Underlined in green will be the winning team. We will use two different strategies to look back at how to predict the winner of the World Series each year prior to the season starting. The first is going to be by seeing who Vegas odds favored in the preseason. A little disclaimer here. In no way do I consider myself an expert in the field of betting, nor is the goal of this video to provide any insight into the best sports betting practices. We are simply utilizing this information to compare how accurate the top teams in Vegas eyes aligned with who won the World Series that year. With that being said, here are the top two teams from each conference for each year dating back to 2016. You can see that in only four of those years, the teams favored by Vegas odds made an appearance in the World Series, and they were never able to predict both teams. In two of those years, they correctly selected the top team to win, in both 2020 and 2016. Of course, like we said earlier, selecting the top team is tough. So to take this a step further, here are the top four teams in order of best odds to worst odds. In 2021, Vegas got none correct. In 2020, they had both championship teams in their top four teams, and the team with the best odds did win. In 2019 and 2018, their top team made the World Series. 2017, no dice. In 2016, they correctly selected the winners, but not the correct runner-up. That's great and all, but even with those odds, we typically only find out which teams will make it, not which team will win. So let's head on over to Fangraphs to see if they had any better luck. On one of their pages, they have a section where you can look at each team's chances of making the playoffs or winning the World Series each year. The teams with the top chances will be listed here for each of our seasons to see if Fangraphs can predict the winners any better. Again, Fangraphs World Series winners percentage were only correct on four of the 12 teams, correctly guessing the winner only two times. Three of the teams were the same as Vegas' odds. In the one year that they differed, Fangraphs leaned on the side of the Dodgers, who have been favored in five of the last six years to represent the NL in the World Series, according to Fangraphs. Taking a look at the top four teams' chances of winning the World Series any given year based on these numbers, we can see that Fangraphs had six of the teams correct of the top four each year, correctly guessing the winner in 2020, as well as both teams that were in the 2016 World Series in the winner of that year's title as well. The interesting thing about this is that in both years that Fangraphs and Vegas guessed the correct winner, they were in agreement. Let me summarize this a little bit because this page got a bit messy. So what I'm trying to say is that Vegas odds typically haven't been that predictive over the past few years, correctly predicting only 25% of the championship teams and two out of the six winners. Fangraphs has done about the same, with a slight variance in the teams selected, but ending in the same outcome four out of 12 teams and two out of six winners. Where this got interesting is that when Vegas and Fangraphs were in agreement, they were actually pretty good. Only three seasons did they agree on a winner. In 2021, where they each had the Dodgers. In 2020, they had the Dodgers again. 
and in 2016, the Cubs. While on their own, they are 2 of 6, or 33% correct on the winners, when they are in agreement, they are 2 for 3 over the last 6 years, which is much better odds. And that brings us to today. Who will be the winner based on all of this for the 2022 season? As you may have guessed, this is another season where both Vegas and Fangraphs are in agreement on who the winner will be, that being the Dodgers. Fangraphs pegs them with a 14% chance to win the whole thing, the highest of any team this year. The runners-up include the Blue Jays at 12%, the Braves at 11.6%, and the Astros at nearly 10%. On Vegas' side, the next three best odds include the Mets, Braves, and Padres. So that's it. My prediction to win the World Series this year is going to be the Dodgers. And while it definitely is a safe bet, it's backed by some recent data, and that is the purpose of analytics in baseball. Analyzing past performances to determine trends in order to predict future outcomes. But I'd love to hear your thoughts too. Who do you think will win the World Series this year, and why? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, I appreciate you guys sticking around till the end. We will see you in the next one. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. If you want to keep learning more, here's a video and a playlist that I think you'd enjoy checking out. I'll catch you in the next one.